They always seen something in you and knew where your life was going to go. You've always been a talented person. You've always been smart. You've always had that tenacious spirit about you. You understand what I'm saying? You've always had that strength about you. And see, these people have always seen that. They had insight as to where your life was going to go. And these are the people who was working behind the scenes to ensure that you would not step into that. I don't care what it is they showed you to your face. I don't care what it is that they've ever told you or, or what they've showed you when you were around them. Behind the scenes, these people are doing things to try to ensure that certain things don't work out in areas of love, in areas of career, and in areas of your finance. But see, at the end of the day, you know that the God that you serve is an awesome God. You know that at the end of the day, if certain things are happening in your life, it's because he has a purpose and a meaning behind it. There's a lesson to be learned in these situations that you are in. Because let me tell you something. If it was meant for these people to have their way with you, you wouldn't have been able to bounce back the way that you did. You wouldn't have been able to survive it. You wouldn't have been able to be here today to listen to this video, to be able to resonate with it, and then be able to say, you know what? God brought me through that. God delivered me from this. God brought me a mighty long way. He wouldn't have brought me this far to leave me now. But I got to start seeing certain things so that I can stop getting in his way. I can get out my own way and I can start stepping in and being on the right path and doing things the right way that God wants me to do them. You understand me what I'm saying? You can't do that while you're continuously trying to go back to people and situations that he delivered you from. Because you're hurting. Because you don't know how to love yourself. You don't know how to be in a relationship with yourself. You don't know how to go out and branch out and start a new family. A family that cares for you. A family that ain't going to up, sit up here behind the scenes and try to work things behind your back because they're intimidated by you. Because they know who you are. And they get a knock out of trying to knock you up off your throne and knock you up off your square. But let me tell you something. God wouldn't have took the time to build that pedestal for you. To build that throne for you. To build this castle and this empire for you. To place you in these positions. To see your enemies knock you up off of it. Do you understand what I'm saying? He has a plan for your life. This is why your enemies won't have their way with you. Do you understand me what I'm saying? He is dismantling that evil. He is ridding you of that toxicity and that negativity. Because he says you're going to step into what it is that I have for you. And let me tell you something. I'm going to make your enemies your footstool. They are going to sit and have to watch you still yet step in here. And get that family that I ordained you to have. To have that man. That I bless you to have. To have that woman that will bless you to marry. To have your kids. To break these generational curses. They're going to sit back and watch it and know that they did everything that they could to try to work and make sure that you didn't step into it. And I'm going to still make sure that you step into it. But let me tell you something. You're going to step into it. Not on your time, but on my time. You, in the meantime, have to step out of his way. Step out of your own way. And start doing what it is that you have to do, not only to set boundaries, but to completely cut these people about your life. Because they're not who they say that they are. Let them work in you. Let them work around you to heal you, to restore you. It's not your fault that these things happen to you. You was coming from a place of love. You was coming from a place of, of, of being genuine, of being supportive, of being loving. Of being caring, of being nurturing. But everybody is not you. And see, this evil that was unleashed in your life was trying to destroy you and overcome you. At one point in time, it was working things in your life to ensure that you would now step into what it is that God had for you. But let me tell you something evil will never prevail over what's good, over what's just, and what's holy. You got to get out of your own way. You got to see yourself for who you are and stop being afraid and stop being uh, doubtful as to what God is, the, the plans that God has for you. Because you're going to have it anyway. But I came on here to say that there are better days ahead. You don't have to worry about what it is that these people are doing because they're doing it because they're jealous of your anointing. They're intimidated of your gifts. They're intimidated of your smarts. They're intimidated of your beauty. These people always knew it. You see how weak they are? To have a stoop so low to get a reaction out of you. They have to stoop so low to get satisfaction out of seeing you struggle, out of seeing you be unhappy. 
out of seeing you being unmotivated. When you step out your own way, you get away from these people and you start seeing what it is that God has for you, you can start stepping into it. But you got to get out your way. Stop hurting yourself. Heal yourself. Lord, deliver me. Cause all I seem to do is hurt me, hurt me, yeah, yeah. Lord, deliver me. Cause all I seem to do is hurt me, hurt me, yeah, yeah. Stop hurting yourself. Stop asking God why. Thank him for the experience. Thank him. That he exposed these friends to you. Fake friends. Thank him. Thank him. That he exposed the evilness in these people. Thank him that he exposed. Who these people. Who these so called lovers. These so called friends. These so called family members. The plans that they had for you. How they really thought about you. How they all sat up here. And grouped up together to talk about you. To laugh at you. To mock you. Thank him that he exposed this to you. Thank him that the things that these people felt about you. Thank him that, that he exposed it to you. Thank him. Thank him. Stop asking him why. And get out your own way. Thank him that you know who these people are now. Thank them that you know how they move now. Thank them that it happened to you. That it happened when it happened so that you would learn from it. So you would grow from it. So you would heal from it. So you would prosper from it. Stop asking him why. Thank him for the experience. This is your exodus. I'm telling you now. Huh. And I'm saying hello to the brand new me. They may not be able to accept it, but they're going to respect it. They may not like it, but they still going to watch it happen for you. They may still yet be working, but they're going to be working in vain. Because they're going to sit back and have to watch God still yet elevate you and propel you to no two levels of your life. You're going to get that man. You're going to get that husband. You're going to get that wife. You're going to get that marriage. You're going to get them kids. You're going to get that success. You're going to have that career. You're going to get that degree. You're going to get that home. You're going to have that financial freedom. You're going to have that peace up in your life. Because he's delivering you from the evil that people was trying to work in your life. He is delivering you from these enemies. He is delivering you from them fake friends. He is delivering you from them fake family members. He is delivering you from them ex-lovers that don't mean you no well. He is delivering you from dead end jobs. He is delivering you from being stagnant. He is delivering you from death. He is delivering you. Because you called on him and you asked him to. You asked him to deliver you. You asked him to heal whatever hole that's in your soul that's causing you to do these things, that's causing you to make these decisions that hurts you, that pulls you back to what it is that he delivered you from. You asking him to deliver you so you can love yourself, so you can heal yourself, so you can be better for yourself. You ask him to deliver you. And now that he is, and he's ensuring that you are, stop asking why. And thank him for these experiences that you had to go through. Thank him. It wasn't easy. It was not easy. It's never easy, because they love scars. 
on your soul, my God. 